Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Plembo GK's family pack video where we're gonna have a look at it. Please like, subscribe and all that jazz. I will leave some timestamps in case you wanna have a look at something specific that comes with this lovely bundle. I'm very excited to show you all what I think about it. So this is the case. The plastic shell for the case seems to be of a decent quality. Although I'm a bit concerned that a big impact might actually damage it. But at least it's nice and lightweight. We're going to have a look at what's inside. So you have the instruction booklets for all the accessories. It comes with a key ring as well. Not impressed yet. Wait for it. It comes with a cable which you can use to charge all the other accessories and to use it with its portable dock but wait there's more it comes with four lovely stickers which you know it's always nice to receive stickers and now we're gonna have a look at the rest of the stuff that comes inside they're all nice and snug inside the case which is good because you don't want them to be moving around and then they get damaged it also comes with the universal plugs and we have the G case right here. I went for the black one simply because I added later on during the Kickstarter campaign and I kind of liked it. This is the first thing we're going to check out is the G case. So you have an up and a down, meaning that you can slide this one up. And another cool feature is that it's magnetic, so it will secure it in place. These can be removed and attached together to make a decent sized Joy-Con grip. As you can see, these just slide in. And you know what, it feels really natural and you can also just remove them and use them independently. I thought this was a really cool feature. So these are different size grips. And as you can see on screen now, these are the different sizes it comes with and they do make a difference. It also serves as a cover for a little slot where you can add one game cart to each of the Joy-Con grips, which is a good use of space and also it allows you to carry out three games with you, one in the console and one on each Joy-Con grip. We're going to slide the switch console in that flap on top just keeps it in place. It does add a bit of weight to the switch, but it's bearable underneath the kickstand for tabletop mode is a USB-C charge port, which is used to power the switch or to connect to the portable dock. Next, we're going to have a look at the portable battery. This package comes with two, which is great because you can charge and swap them around. They also double up as a portable power bank, which can be used to charge your mobile phone, for example. They are 5000 mAh or milliampere per hour, and they're decent, especially because they are magnetic. So they sit back on the GKs very nicely. And as you can see, it's charging. Next, we're going to have a look at the multifunctional one dock that comes with the bundle. We're going to do a bit of a comparison as I've got a few of these. All three do the same thing, so I'm not going to go too much into depth, but mainly to give you an idea. So we've got the Nixie, the Plembo and the Genki portable docks essentially. And these are the prices, as you can see in terms of functionality, all three do the same. They all have a USB-C port, a USB port and the HDMI, although the Plembo one is easier to put in a pocket and has a cool design. Next, we're going to have a look at the storage capacity of the actual case. My only issue with this case is you can't really add anything else, as you can see on the video. And also the three pin plug, I have to make adjustments in the case in order to fit it. So two weeks in, this is what my case looks like. I've used every accessory that comes with it 
and I'm going to show you two more features of the family pack. I've also made a few adjustments where I've put the three pin adapter where two of the grips would live. You can carry 24 games plus two on each grip. Next, we're going to have a look at the USB adapter, which is a very cool little gadget that will allow you to connect PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers and use them with a Nintendo Switch. All you need to do is grab your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation 5 controller, like this one, which I've had to fully charge because I haven't used it in ages. And then you'll see that the adapter is flashing. You click on the button, it'll flash faster. And then you put the controller in pairing mode. And within a few seconds, the controller is paired. A cool thing about this adapter is that you can also plug it into your PC and it will allow you to use your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controllers with it. Unfortunately, I tested it with my Xbox Series X controller and it doesn't work, but it's better than nothing. And as you can see, there's no magic tricks here. It's connected, it removed that, disconnected. Lastly, we're going to have a look at the Bluetooth 5.0 that allows you to connect Bluetooth speakers or headphones onto the G case. The two buttons at the back allow you to connect two Bluetooth headsets. How cool is that? So that's pretty much everything that comes in the bundle. I'm very happy with my purchase and I'm very happy that I supported them on Kickstarter. Now, like with every accessory review, I give you the pros and cons. The pros to this are it comes with a lot of different accessories. You can't buy them separately from the official website. I will have a link down below. They do the job very well. If you were to buy the family bundle, which is the one I've got, I managed to get it a lot cheaper, mainly because I backed them on Kickstarter. You can get them from the official website or from PlayAsia. I will leave the affiliate link down below if you want to support us. If you travel a lot and have big hands and like to have everything in one place, this is probably for you. I completely recommend it. My only issue is the lack of extra storage for the three pin plug, but that's down to a case by case basis of where you are in the world and what kind of plugs you use in your country of origin. Also, as I mentioned before, I'm a bit concerned that the plastic of the outer casing of the carry case might not be strong enough for quite a big impact. Hopefully it won't come to that. And I understand that, yes, they could have used maybe a stronger material, but it would have increased the cost and the weight, which is another thing to consider when everything is inside the case. It can be a bit hefty. But that's my honest observations and I just wanted to get it out there. Other than that, I am very, very happy with my purchase. I'm glad that I've been able to finally reveal it to you guys. We at Grinning Wolf Games give the Plembo GK's family pack a 9 out of 10. I hope this has been very useful. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Share with your friends, with your family, with anyone who's interested in crazy looking accessories like this one. Please like, subscribe and all that jazz. Until next time, I suppose, hopefully, keep on gaming. Peace.